Well, hello you guys, this is Shami again, you all know me and welcome to another video of Iran Trip YouTube channel. Uh, if you already know Sara, then you must have watched one of our videos together, Chahal Sotun Palace. Yes. If you haven't, I re recommend you to go and see it right here. Hi again, I'm Sarah and uh, I was with you guys in Chelsea Tune yeah. episode but here I am again and I'm so glad and I think we're gonna have fun together again yeah this video is gonna be really fun and yeah. casual make sure to stay tuned and watch this video until the end and if you're new here uh, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and turn on that small notification bell so you don't miss a single video of our channel so i've been hearing this statement a lot lately i don't know if you heard it before or what and it's this iranians are arab have you heard it before uh yeah i heard it before too i mean and today we're gonna talk about some misconception related to our country and yeah and there are so many stereotypes that have been around uh, about iran and everybody who's gonna travel here uh they're really thinking and imagining to themselves if they're true or not so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna talk about all these stereotypes and say if they're true or false and like check them out together so make sure to stay tuned until the rest of this video and if you agree let's get it to it so the first stereotype that i've been hearing a lot is that are you guys arab are iranians arab and the short answer is no we're not arab not at all no god please no 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 it's kind of like you Weird. go into a, a french guy and you ask him whether if he's german or what and it's completely different the german people are german and the french people are french and uh that's actually true here as well and there is another reason of why people might think that iranian people are arab and that's because there are a lot of different ethnicities in iran and of course arab people as well and they're living in the southern part of iran in the cities like khuzestan and uh, so many other cities as well but they're only a minority and they're iranian you know they're arab people but they live in iran so they are considered as iranian people so that is absolutely false and Iranian people are just Iranian the second misconception about our country is that our Iranians speak in Arabic so it's totally false yeah we don't we just yeah. speak Persian we speak in Persian I mean Farsi we call it Farsi but you know maybe people might think that maybe because the same alphabet just visually uh, they think that we speak in Arabic too but it's totally different we have our own alphabet our own words and our own grammar so it's it has nothing to do with Arabic they have actually different origins you know because Persian has uh, an origin in Indo-European Indo language but Arabic has a Semitic, Semitic origin okay the third one yeah the third one is Iran is dangerous for tourists to come and I, <laughs> I don't know no question about it I am ready to get hurt again it's kind of like uh, the media has made an image yeah. for Iranian people that makes them look really scary and dangerous and terrorists but illusionary imagine I think yeah it's actually an imagine. illusion yeah it's an illusion and if you come to Iran you can see that it's totally wrong because people in Iran are totally welcoming and heartwarming they actually greet people who are uh, actually foreigners in Iran they go and they say hi to them they invite them to their houses they're really like I don't know welcoming and kind and that's totally cool so don't forget to come to Iran and see it for yourselves and Iran is absolutely safe for tourists don't worry about that and that's that right yeah the fourth misconception is about that Iranian women are completely limited or oppressed so you know it's not 100% true or false exactly. I knew exactly what to do but in a 
much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. What I mean is that,、um, I don't know, you have the right to vote, or you can drive a car, or something basic like that. Yeah, or work, or something.、Uh, yeah, exactly. But、uh, I can't say we have the total. Gender equality. We are still trying to have gender equality in our country. For example, you have to have hijab. You must have it, and you can decide by your own to what to wear. You know. So it's kind of like this. This stereotype is not 100% wrong, but it's kind of like really exaggerated. Yeah,、know? it's something about gender discrimination. I think. Exactly. Okay. So the next stereotype is that there is nothing to do or see in Iran, and that's absolutely wrong. We are Iranian, and we haven't even seen the half of Iran、so、yet. Yeah, and if you buy a ticket for a year to come here and see everything, you won't have enough time because there are so many places to go. Exactly. There are so many museums, you know.、Um, Maybe you need more than a year. Exactly.、Uh, I don't know, like、um, natural、uh, landscapes you can see, or I don't know buildings that are from each era, you know, each different、yeah. era. So you have to go see them. And there are so many things to do and see here, and that's absolutely wrong. That you imagine that Iran doesn't have anything spectacular or special, and totally wrong. Yeah, it's totally wrong. You have to come here and you have to see these hidden gems that even Iranian people don't know about completely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's it. Let's go to our next stereotype. The next is about that Iranian people are not educated. Yeah, and that's actually the opposite of that. Iranian、yeah. people are educated, and they and really care about education. Yeah, they value education so much. Yeah, you know, they're just maybe immigrate to another country to just study their favorite major, and we have lots of scientists and great doctors、mm-hmm. in、uh, medical science. For example,、yeah. Professor Sami or Maria Mirzakhani、yeah. was a math- mathematician, or and Shan, sorry. Yeah, and she works in NASA, I guess, and they're actually. Actually, some well-known yeah, people,、exactly. and the world, the world knows them. Yeah. So I guess that this exactly this this education thing is really important to Iranian families,、yeah. and they actually force their children、exactly. to be educated, and、uh, they go on higher levels. It means a lot. Yeah, it、yeah. means a lot to them, and it's actually <laughs> kind of disturbing, you、yes. know, for for our like our generation that、exactly. they actually really care about education so much. So. With that being said,、uh, you have to know that Iranian people are really educated, and you have to see that this stereotype is actually pretty wrong. So <laughs> the next one is pretty funny.、Yeah. It's kind of like they they say that Iranian people ride donkeys and camels. <laughs> I mean,、They're、I don't know. Me. Where did you get that from? Who can just believe that? <laughs> <Yeah> . <laughs> I mean, like,、uh, yeah, maybe in、uh, I don't know, one、uh, thousand years ago, <laughs> yeah, they used to say, yeah, exactly. And I don't know, I don't know why people imagine Iran to be like a desert or some kind of like、um, I don't know, like some kind of ruin place <laughs> that、uh, people ride donkeys and camels. And that's actually like it couldn't be any more wrong. I mean, I, I can't even tell you how wrong this is. There are so many. Uh, I don't know high tech cars. People really care about their cars.、Car. Uh, it's actually like one hundred percent wrong. I can't say more about <laughs> that. So I don't know.、Uh, let's go to the next one. So this next one is pretty funny actually because when you go to another city, like another country or something, people come to you and they actually ask you if you are a terrorist or not. But we are not terrorists. We don't yeah, have we don't guns. We don't have a gun or something <laughs> like that. You know, maybe it's related to some mis- misinformation about、um, Iran, related to I don't know Middle East and the war stuff yeah, and or the, something and like that. Yeah, and the and the political reasons. Exactly, you know? but you know, people I think don't like war anymore, and 
you're not they hate wars. wars. People, you know, across the world hate wars. Actually, that these are these governments that actually set them up because people are actually disagreeing with yeah. this war. They love Westerners. Exactly. They love people All outside people around the world. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, it, it's not different than anything else. So you have to know that we are peaceful here. Yeah, and maybe you... it's really funny at first, but it's not. You know? Yeah, it's really not. It's actually make me cry. Yeah, you know? me too. So you have to know it's not wrong. You have to come to Iran and see it for yourselves. People are actually pretty friendly here. Okay, the last but not least misconception is bad. Uh, they say that Iranian people live in the desert, and I'm speechless. Yeah, we such don't such a great Great beautiful green desert. We don't live in the desert. This, these are like <laughs> homes and stuff that we have, you know? It's kind of like pretty funny. We live in the cities and they actually are people who live in the desert, but they're local, you know? Yeah. They're, they're, they belong. Uh, yeah, they belong to that area. So you have to know this part. Iran has deserts, but they actually are more for entertainment. You know, people go there, exactly. they camp, they have fun, they dance, you know, they, they uh, gaze at the stars in the night and it's actually like a, a really fun i don't know activity that people do in the weekends it's not like that we live in the desert so that was it for this video and we hope to see you next time really soon bye then